the only thing is this TV doesn't work very well with my camera. So let me switch this back over to the LCD screen. That's better, but my 3D print is finished. So let me get this off and I'll be right back. I've been making these little bracket thing in the jiggies to hang stuff on so I can like angle my things. And I wanted to angle the Commodore. There, that's better. I like them when they're angled a little bit more. It's easier to see. But have you guys ever seen this? I haven't actually gone through it yet, but you solve the mystery by writing little programs as you uh, as you read it. I should cover this one day. Okay, I need to print another one for the Amstrad. He needs to be angled too, doesn't he? Heck, they all do. She did the Nintendo and the other Nintendo, Atari. I did the Intellivision, I think it looks good. That's better. Now you can actually see with the Tube TV, I get scan lines, and I know all the professional guys like LGR talks about it and stuff, and they set up the camera to do fancy frame rates, but hey man, you know me, lazy videos, I'm always uh, using my phone. We're gonna have some fun today because this is kinda cool. I know people have talked about it with me for a while, but uh, let's show you how it works. I guess first I should explain why it took me a while to get around to doing this, because with my day job, um, we recently implemented this chat bot called Athena. And Athena is a GPT driven bot that, well, <laughs> is determined to help people build robots, which is really cool because it's, uh, she works super well. Like if you look at this one post, this guy asked a question about how to display a bunch of data because he's got tons of data coming in from a JSON query. And she had such fantastic responses using the interface builder and i think she even suggested to use the http server skill so that you can actually just have it displayed on a web page using uh re refreshing it with uh javascript and json because that's built into the server and then the same user goes into the http server and then asks a question and says hey man i can't find the root directory and she's like don't worry about it, bro, I got your back. And she explains exactly where it is. And he's like, all right, I got it, blah, blah, blah. And then she's like, yeah, you're correct. Don't worry, things are cool. Last night I published this video of controlling this humanoid robot in our lab with a NABU. <laughs> and I read this message today, uh, this morning, and it says it's only a matter of time before you have chat GPT running the NABU. I thought to myself, well, Retrocombs, I think you're right. I think it's about time we do that. So jump into user area one and type in Retronet. All right, let's see who's online. And we can see Athena. So I've taken the engine from the uh, Synthium website and I've copied it to Retronet server for the chat. So we get the same name, but don't worry, the personality is different. So let's start off by saying, hi, Athena. Hi, how are you doing today? Do you have any cool stories about old computers like the Nabu? I do. Right, you have to say her name for a response. So that avoids her getting involved in every conversation. So I say, Athena, I do. Awesome, I'd like to hear them. What's your favorite old computer or piece of technology? Athena. <laughs> My favorite. I do. Let's find out what her favorite is. Um, what is as an AI language model? I don't have a personal favorite, but she finds a Nabu interesting. Ooh, that's pretty good. So I think this is kind of neat because Nabu is the god of creativity and art, and Athena is the god of intelligence and some say war because she's strategic but realistically she's just a real smart cookie and she lives on your nabu let's find out if she knows anything about the commodore 64. athena oh 
Oh, there we go. It sure was. I'd have to agree with that. I wonder if she knows anything about the IBM 1440, the new low-cost data processing system. Popular in the 1960s and 70s, magnetic tape to store data, maximum memory was 64 kilobytes, used by businesses. Well, let's find out. Did it have maximum 64 kilobytes? Let's see here. Got some pictures. Ooh, nice console. Hmm. She was right about storage. Well, I don't see anything yet about how much RAM the uh, 1440 had. Wow, you can store at least 3,000 characters, or 3 million characters, sorry. Woohoo! Three megabytes. Well, you know, it's not uh, her fault that IBM didn't put how much RAM is inside the 1440 inside of their brochure. You're probably wondering why I have this. I have no idea. <laughs> so, you can have fun now with the ChatGPT, Athena, Nabu, Retronet. Oh yeah, this is cool. Okay, see you in the next video, everyone.